Liberation of Klishivka and Andreevka could lead to degradation of Russian ranks. Given how the Ukrainian advance in Zaporizhia Oblast affects them, it is possible that the Ukrainian liberation of two villages that Russian forces were desperately trying to hold corresponds with the severe degradation of the Russian units defending them. The Institute for the Study of War said this. According to military analysts, the Russian forces that defended in Zaporizhia Oblast since the beginning of the counter-offensive did this mainly without rotation of operational level units and probably suffered additional losses. Units of the 71st, 70th and 291st Motorized Rifle Regiments of the Russian 42nd Motorized Rifle Division regularly repelled Ukrainian attacks and participated in various combat clashes. They also reflected the first stages of the Ukrainian counter-offensive from June to August. In August, Ukrainian troops began to break through the first line of Russian defense, where Russian troops spent a significant amount of manpower, personnel and efforts. Russian reports and personnel indicate that many of these units of the 42nd Motorized Rifle Division have since withdrawn and are now mostly shelling Ukrainians. The lack of reports of the participation of these soldiers in hostilities is the west of the Zaporizhia Oblast indicates that the losses they suffered during the first stages of the Ukrainian counter-offensive made them ineffective in battle. It is reported that units of the 70th Motorized Rifle Regiment temporarily retreated to the rear during the Ukrainian breakthrough and returned to the advanced positions in early September which indicates that the Ukrainian offensive so worsened this unit that forced the Russian command to give it time to regroup. It was one of the few rotations of units the ISW saw in this sector of the front. Ukrainian counter-offensive operations could also severely affect units of the 22nd and 45th separate special forces brigades of the Russian Federation. Therefore, experts concluded that the Ukrainian advance south of Bakhmut could lead to a similar degradation of Russia's defensive units in the area.